She's hanging out of the enclosure. Okay, I think we pulled it off. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, that would have been fun without the magic. Whoa, magic. Whoa! I told you it's gonna take magic. The good news is, look how many eggs there are. Whoa! Yep, like I said, we should have had the other camera. Okay, so this snake is actually a ti hat titanium, hat pied. Hey, come on, girl. Uh, hat pied, and we bred her to a citron, which is basically hat titanium pied tiger. And this is a tiger, so this is going to have some really beautiful snakes if everything goes half right. Last year, we only had four eggs. This year, we got maybe, I don't know, we're going to find out in a minute. Come on, come on, girl. She's like, hey, I finally laid some eggs and you're gonna take them from me? Yes, because we want them to hatch, because they won't hatch otherwise. Come on, girl. Come on. So, the good part is with this smaller clutch, I can levitate. Oh, man. Oh, I got it right in the face. I knew this was gonna be the video. Blood and all. How do you know it just because you don't put a camera up? And the only reason why that happened is the eggs aren't stuck together really good. And I literally take this risk to save the eggs and I'm willing to get bit in the face. I just proved it because I could have picked those eggs up and one or two could have rolled off, but I just can't do it. It's not what I do it for. I literally take the risk for this snake to have her eggs be successful. In the wild, it's very tough. Oh yeah. Okay, so here we go. I gotta do this again, but I'm gonna have to do a little better job. Everybody always says I purposely try to make them look like they bite me. Nah. I just proved that I didn't do it. If I did, that would be really dumb. I got it. But those eggs, you can see, were falling off. So I didn't want to risk dropping that egg. 